Hello friends, welcome to Global Online. Friends, in this video, we are going to discuss some important MCQs on econometrics for your upcoming UGC NET in economics. And if you want to join our crash course for UGC NET or our site in economics, in, in here you will get complete theory lectures, uh, complete MCQ lectures. You will get mock tests on entire syllabus with solution PDF. Then you will get notes on all the units. Practice MCQ set is available. If you want to join this crash course, you can contact this number and you can also download our global online app from Play Store. And you can search UGC Net Economics, uh, then you can access our materials. So let us move to the questions. Here the first question is, moving average is used in option A, dispersion, option B, correlation, option C, time series analysis. Option D, hypothesis testing. So, moving average, it is used in time series analysis. So, please remember, option C, time series uh, analysis is correct answer. Moving average means, as you all know, moving averages are usually calculated to identify the trend direction of a stock or to determine its support. And it is a trend following or lagging indicator because it based on past prices. And the longer the time period for the moving average, the greater the lag. Yes, please remember it. Moving averages, these are usually calculated to identify the trend direction of stock and it is a trend following or lagging indicator because they, this is based, moving average is based on past prices, so time series data. So the longer the time period for the moving average, the greater the lag. The second question is, coefficient of determination is equal to option A, R square, option B, root R, option C, R, Option D, option D, R divided by 1. So here the right answer is square of covariance that is R square. Coefficient of determination is equal to R square. So with uh, the coefficient of determination is equal to the square of correlation. R square means, square, uh, R means correlation and square of correlation is equal to the coefficient of determination. Question number 3, the variance of binomial distribution is option a n p q option b n p option c p q option d root n p q so here the variance of binomial distribution is equal to n p q so option a is correct so variance of binomial distribution it is a measure of the dispersion of the probabilities with respect to the mean value so variance of binomial distribution by using this we are going to measure the dispersion of the probabilities in res with respect with arithmetic mean and the variance of the binomial distribution is is equal to n p q so n means number of trials p is the probability of success and q is the probability of failure question number four the probability of rejecting a true hypothesis is option a type one error option b type two error Option C is standard error, option D probable error. So here probability of rejecting a true hypothesis, actually it is true but we are rejecting it then it is known as the type 1 error and if you accept the false uh, hypothesis means it is known as the type 2 error. So here you can see type 1 error is the, is the re mistaken rejection of actually true hypo null hypothesis. And type 2 error, it is the failure to reject the null hypothesis. Actually, it is false. Question number 5. The goal of OLS is to find the values of the estimated parameters that option A, maximize RSS, option B, maximize both A and C, option C, minimize RSS, option D, does not disturb RSS. So, the goal of OLS is to find the values of the estimated parameter that that is going to minimize the RSS. RSS stands for residual sum sum of squares. And RSS residual sum of squares it is a uh, it measures the level of variance in the error term of a regression model. And the smaller the residual sum of squares, the better your model fits to your data. And the greater the residual sum of squares, the poorer your model fits to your data. And a value of 0 means your model is perfectly fit. A value of 0 of RSS means the model is perfectly fit. 
and the RSS residual sum squares uh, used by financial analysts in order to estimate the validity of their economic econometric models. Question number six: For the variables x and y, we obtain two regression equations: x on y and y on x. At the point of intersection of two regression lines, we get option A standard deviation, option B x bar and y bar, option C only x bar, option C skewness. So here option B x bar and y bar. Two regression lines always intersect at their mean or average values that is x bar and y bar. Question number 7. A reduced form of equation expresses option A an endogenous variable has a function of exogenous variable, option B an exogenous variable has a function of endogenous variable, option C an exogenous variable has a function of both endogenous and exogenous variable, option D all of the above. So here option A an endogenous variable has a function of exogenous variable. So option A is correct. Formerly a reduced form is obtained by solving a model for each endogenous variable has a function of the exo exogenous variable. Question number 8. For a stationary autoregressive process shocks with option A persist indefinitely, option B grow exponentially, option C never occur, option D eventually die away. So here for stationary autoregressive process shocks are eventually die away. So option D is correct. Question number 9. For two random variables x and y covariance measures. Option A direction of the relationship between them. Option B strength of relationship between them. Option C both A and B. Option D variance of x and variance of y. So here for two random variables x and y covariance measures direction of the relationship between x and y. So option A is correct. So covariance it is going to measure the total variation of two random variables from their expected values and using covariance we can uh, measure the direction of the relationship whether the variables are moving in upward uh, positive relation or inverse relation. Question number 10. In a linear regression model, y i is equal to alpha plus b beta x i plus p i, unbiasedness requires. Option A, y b correctly measured. Option B, covariance between x and sigma b 0. Option C, x and y b not uh, um, correlated. Option D, error term to be normally distributed. So here the right answer is option B covariance between x and sigma b 0. Question number 11 for a linear regression model y i is equal to alpha plus beta x i plus p i Durbin Watson statistics is, is, is used to test for. So option A serial autocorrelation among residuals, option B mistakes in calculations, option C correct functional form. Option D heteroselasticity in residuals. So here the right and for linear regression model y is equal to alpha plus beta xi plus pi. Durbin Watson statistics is used to test serial autocorrelation among the residuals. Question number 12. Suppose x is normally distributed random variable with an unknown mean u and an unknown variance sigma square the following test can be used to test hypothesis about unknown population mean option a the up test option b the t test option c chi square test option d z test so here the right answer is option b t test t test it is a type of inferential statistics used to determine the they determine if there is a significant difference between the means of two groups which may be related in certain features. So a t-test it is a type of inferential statistic test and t-test is used to determine if there is any significant disturbance between the means of two groups which may be related in certain features. And the t-test is one of many tests used for the purpose of hypothesis testing. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ हाइपरबोलिक फंक्शन सो हियर द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ऑप्शन सी वाई इज इक्वल टू अल्फा डिवाइड बाई एक्स इट इज नोन एज द हाइपरबोलिक फंक्शन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन फाइंड द पॉइंट ऑफ मैक्सिम ऑन द कर y इज इक्वल टू एक्स रेस टू थ्री माइनस सिक्स एक्स स्क्वेर माइ प्लस नाइन एक्स माइनस टू सो यर इफ यू फाइंड द मैक्सिम द आंसर बी वन क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन इफ डिमांड फंक्शन इज वन फिफ्टी माइनस फिफ्टी पी एंड सप्लाई फंक्शन इज ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव पी देन वाट विल बी द इक्विलिब्रियम प्राइस सो इजीली यू कैन कैलकुलेट इट द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी वन पॉइंट सेवन सो एट इक्विलिब्रियम डिमांड इज इक्वल टू सप्लाई so we can calculate easily so question number 16 suppose in a regression model yi is equal to alpha plus beta xi plus ei covariance between x and e is not zero then option a ols estimates are biased and inconsistent option b ols estimates are biased but consistent option c ols estimates are unbiased but inconsistent option d OLS estimates cannot be calculated. So here, option A, OLS estimates are biased and inconsistent. So option A is correct. Question number seventeen: A random walk time series is option A, stationary; option B, impossible to analyze; option C, non-stationary; option D, not useful in real world. So a random walk time series is it is non-stationary. ऑप्शन सी नॉन स्टेशनरी इज करेक्ट सो रैंडम वॉक इज वन इन विच फ्यूचर स्टेप्स और डायरेक्शन कैन नॉट बी प्रेडिक्टेड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ पास्ट हिस्ट्री सो बाई यूजिंग द पास्ट अवेलेबल डेटा वी कैन नॉट प्रेडिक्ट अबाउट द फ्यूचर एंड ऑल रैंडम वॉक प्रोसेस आर नॉन स्टेशनरी क्वेश्चन नंबर एटीन रिजेक्टिंग द नल हाइपोथिस वेन इट इज ट्रू इज रेफर्ड एज Type two error, type zero error, type one error, type three error. Yes, we know it. We are going to reject it, even though it is true. It is known as the type one error. So this we know. If you reject the true hypothesis, it is type one error. If you are failing to accept the true hypothesis, then it is type two error. Question number nineteen. A type one error occurs when we Rejected true null hypothesis. Question number twenty. Let y is equal to a k alpha l beta be the Cobb Douglas production function. When does this function exhibit constant return to scale? Option A alpha is equal to beta. Option B alpha plus beta is equal to one. Option C alpha plus beta is equal to zero. Option D alpha plus beta is lesser than one. So here the right answer is option B. Alpha plus beta is equal to one. Question number twenty-one. Logit and probit models are used to analyze data that are option A binary, option B continuous, option C missing, option D used to analyze business cycle exclusively. So here the correct answer is option B continuous. So logit and probit models are used to analyze the continuous data. So, logit and probit models are statistical models that are used to model binary or dichotomous dependent variables. The next question is: Suppose y is equal to alpha plus beta x i plus e i is a linear regression model. Godfrey content test is a test of auto correlation, data mistakes, heteroelasticity, correlation between x and y. So, Godfrey content test is related to Test the heteroelasticity. So option C is correct. So Godfrey content test. It is the test used to test the presence of heteroelasticity in the given data. And this test is named after the named by uh, this. Uh, the test was given by Stephen M. Godfrey and Richard E. Condit. Question number twenty-three. Y is equal to alpha plus beta x i plus e i. It is a linear regression model. and there is serial correlation among the error terms then option a ols estimators are unbiased and efficient option b ols estimators are unbiased but not efficient option c ols estimators are wrong option d ols estimators cannot be calculated 
सो हियर द राइट आंसर इज ओ एल एस एस्टिमेटर्स आर अनबयासड बट नॉट ए पीशियंट द नेक्स्ट वन इज मैच द फॉलोविंग सो हियर द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए हेट्रोसिडास्टिसिटी वाइट टेस्ट ऑटो को रिलेशन बी पी टेस्ट मल्टी कोलिनियरिटी वी आई एफ देन स्ट्रक्चरल ब्रेक चौ टेस्ट द लास्ट क्वेश्चन इज इन अ स्टेटिस्टिक ऑप्टिमाइजेशन प्रॉब्लम विथ एन इक्वालिटी कंस्ट्रेंट द लैगरिंग मल्टीप्लायर इज ऑप्शन ए ऑलवेज लेस देन जीरो ऑप्शन बी ग्रेटर देन जीरो ऑप्शन सी ऑलवेज जीरो ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ दे सो इन स्टेटिक ऑप्टिमाइजेशन प्रॉब्लम विथ एन इक्वालिटी कंस्ट्रेंट द लैगरिंग मल्टीप्लायर इज ऑलवेज लेस देन जीरो सो लैगरिंग मल्टीप्लायर it measures increase in the objective function that is obtained through a marginal relaxation in the constraint and for this reason lagrange multiplier is often termed as shadow price okay friends this is about today's session and if you want to join our crash course for ugc net or set in economics here you will get complete theory lectures complete mcq lecture entire syllabus mock test with solution pdf you will get notes on all the unit practice mcq set is available so if you want to join you can contact this number or you will see can also download our global online app from play store as yes, i wish all the best to all thank you